All right, so this is all over the internet already. This is not something that I just came up with or that I'm spilling the beans on, but I figured it's online. You can find it online. The specs are online. So I'm just going to read what's online right now. This is the new leaked material, although I can kind of confirm that it's that it is real. Uh, that Marantz has got some new AVRs and a processor coming out for 2022-2023. They, I guess the naming convention this time around is going to be the Marantz Cinema Series for their new AVRs. Uh, let's start off with the official news. I guess it's supposed to drop on the 26th of September. So still a couple weeks away. Let's start off with the small one here, the Cinema 70, which is a, sorry, the Cinema 70S. The S is their slimline model. I used to have a 1607S, which is one of their, you know, their half-sized uh, AVRs. So the Cinema 70 is supposed to be a 7.2 channel, 50 watt a channel receiver. It will have all the latest AV formats um 3d soundscape even with a 2.1 setup so i guess you're supposed to get some virtual virtual surround up mixing uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. slimline replaces the nr1711 new features mm, 7.2 channel 6 hdmi inputs one output three inputs supporting 8k 60 and 4k 120 pass through it's got Dolby Atmos, DTSX, Odyssey, EQ, and preamp mode for each channel, allowing greater customization with external amplifiers. What's changed from the 1711 is a new back panel, um, AK inputs, removes the, the no component video ins and outs, and adds 7.2 channel pre outs. So, pretty good for an entry level AVR. That's going to be $1,200. So entry level twelve hundred dollar AVR with pre outs, pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. That was the Cinema. What number was that one? That was the Cinema seventy S. Uh, Cinema sixty. Seven point two channel, one hundred watt a channel AVR receiver. Um, ba -ba -ba, all the same as above. This will replace the SR fifty fifteen. 7.2 channels, 6 HDMI ins, 2 HDMI outs, 3 inputs with 8K60 and 4K 120Hz pass-through. It's got Dolby Atmos, DTSX, Odyssey, Multi-Q, XT, preamps for each channel, new Marantz HDM design, and this does replace the SR5015. There's a new back, back panel, new HDMI inputs, and there are no component ins and outs. That is going to sell for $1,700 US. That's $1,700. Whereas the smaller one was $1,200. So $500 upcharge to go to the full size AVR with an extra 50 watts per channel. The Cinema 50 is up next, which is a nine channel AVR. 110 watts per channel all the same features as above this will replace the sr6015 what's new does have six uh six hdmi ins three hdmi outputs all supporting 8k 60 and 4k 120 pass through it's got a new high resolution hd gui new gui User interface for 4K and 8K TV sets, Dolby Atmos, DTSX, IMAX Enhanced, and Oro 3D. So once we step up to the Cinema 50, we're going to get IMAX Enhanced and Oro 3D. Uh, Odyssey XT32, and it is Dirac Live upgradable. How much that's going to cost? Not sure. But I'm assuming if you want to get the full suite of Dirac Live with base management, probably around 800 bucks. Uh, had, uh, it does have preamps for each channel, the new Marantz HDAM, and this does replace the 6015. Uh, so going from the 6015 over to the Cinema 50, you will lose one HDMI input. The 6015 had seven. This one has six. It does have more HDMI ends. The subwoofer terminals go from, you get two subwoofer outputs 
over to four. So you're now getting uh, you're now getting four subwoofer outputs instead of the two on the 6015. And of course, they have removed the component video ins and outs on this one. And that price is going to be two thousand five hundred dollars for the Cinema 50, which is a 9.4 channel AVR. Moving up to the big boy, going to the Cinema 40, which is a 9.4 channel AVR at 125 watts per channel. The, what was the previous one? The Cinema 50 was 110 watts. The Cinema 40 is 125 watts. All the same features as previously mentioned. It has seven HDMI inputs and three HDMI outputs all supporting 8K60 and 4K120 pass-through, Dolby Atmos DTS-X IMAX Enhanced Oro 3D, Odyssey XT32, again, Direct Live upgradable. I'm assuming maybe Direct Live doesn't come straight out of the box. Just a guess. Preamp mode for all channels, new HDAM, and this is now made in Japan. So now, uh, usually on the upper end, Denon and Marantz products, usually the higher end models, they're made in Japan rather than China. So hand select parts. So for better, for all you audiophile guys out there, maybe the uh, maybe the Cinema 40 is the one for you. Uh, what's new from the 7015 that it replaces? You have an extra trigger. So it went from two triggers on the 7015 to three, AK inputs. Um, four subwoofer outputs as opposed to two on the 7015 and no component video ins outs. This is going to retail for, it's going to sell for $3,500. And that seems to be their flagship AVR. Not a bad price for a flagship AVR, you know, 3,500 bucks. And then we have their processor, which is 15.4 channel AVR or I'm sorry, 15.4 channel preamplifier. So 15 channel going from 13 from last year's model over to 15, which is what, the 8805? Uh, so all the, all the same features as mentioned previously. Um, new specs obviously are the 15 channel processing with advanced base management for four subwoofer connections, seven HDMI ins, three HDMI outputs, AK60, 4K120 pass-through, new GUI for AK and 4K television sets, Dolby Atmos, DTS-X Pro, IMAX Enhanced, Oro 3D, Odyssey XT32, and Direct Live Upgradable. New Toroidal Power Transformer, 19-channel monolithic HDAM design, also made in Japan and one colorway. I'm going to take a guess and say the colorway is probably those lights that illuminate the sides if you guys have seen like their ruby two channel integrated amps it, there's usually that lights those those two lights that light up on the sides there i think they're blue typically um i think that's what i mean what it, that means one colorway or maybe it could just be it just comes in like black and this is going to be seven thousand dollars for the brand new av10 preamp processor so that's a big chunk right there um, that's going to get announced on the go official, I guess, on the 26th as well. And there is, to go along with the AV10, there's going to be an Amp10, so a matching amplifier. So the preamp processor is 15 channels, but the Amp10 is 16 channels. It is 200 watts per channel. It's a new Class D. Okay, so it is 200 watts at 8 ohms, 2 channels driven, 400 watts at 8 ohms, two channels driven uh 16 channel xlr slash rca inputs toroidal transformer marantz hdm design and it's got the port hole little analog levels that are going to be on the front as well so you still get the portholes in all these marantz avrs that is also made in japan and it also has one colorway as well so it's going to have those lights that illuminate i'm pretty sure that that is also going to be seven thousand dollars so if you want to go full separates, AV10, Amp10, you are looking at $14,000. I guess if you were to compare it to the Trinov Altitude 16, that's 16 channels as opposed to 15. And that's like $18,000 compared to the $7,000. So it's 
you know, less than half the price of a Trino of Altitude 16. But then, of course, you got to factor in the amplifiers as well. But, you know, you can always mix and match that if you want to go something cheaper than $7,000. So, I mean, I guess that would be the next kind of logical thing if you wanted to step up to a high channel count processor and not go for like a Trino of. I mean, I think I think you can go with like an Anthem or something like that for around 4,500, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but that is it, man. That's that's all the news. This is, of course, online. You can search this online. All the specs are online already. So this information wasn't shared to me directly from Sound United. So hence, I'm making the video on it just to share with you guys. I definitely want to check out you know, if they're going to let me borrow it now, uh, I definitely want to check out the AV 10 and the amp 10. And I definitely, and I do want to check out the cinema 40, which is their flagship receiver. Um, I want to know if direct live is going to come straight out of the box, even though it does say direct live upgradable. So maybe you're just going to get just a, the plain limited direct on these models, which limit correction up to 300 Hertz, I think. Um, and then you have to pay for the extras for like you know, base management and all that stuff, which I think is another 100 to 400 bucks. So what do you guys think of all that stuff, man? What do you think about the prices? Let's go over the prices one more time. 16 channel amplifier, amp 10 is $7,000. The AV10 preamp processor, $7,000. The flagship AVR Cinema 40, $3,500. The Cinema 50, $2,500. Going to the mid-range here, Cinema 60, $1,700. And then we're going to the entry-level Slimline AVR, which is the Cinema 70S at $1,200. What do you guys feel about these prices? What do you guys feel about the models and features? How do you guys feel about Direct Live finally coming to Sound United Products? And are you going to pick up the new Marantz AVR separates? Leave your comments down below.